Behind the Law Legend speaks of a god who fused with another god, but this is not a tale of dragons and wishes, spectators of myth. No, this legendary fusion comes from the lands of ancient Egypt and ancient Greece. You see, when warriors fuse in comics or popular culture, it is usually not a permanent state. But when these gods of different pantheons were fused, they were bound to something more. Ancient Fusion Hermanubis The Greek god and messenger of Olympus, Hermes, is typically remembered for his speed and wing-tipped sandals, but he also acted as guide for the souls of the dead. He helped them get to Hades, the Greek underworld. The Egyptian god of the dead, Anubis, is often recalled as the man with a canine head, usually a long-eared jackal. His role, according to legend, was also to help usher souls into the realm of the dead. It is said that jackals were often seen in ancient Egyptian cemeteries and thus thought to protect the dead. During the Hellenistic period, that's the time after Alexander the Great, parts of ancient Egypt were ruled by the Greeks and later the Romans. In this era, Hermes and Anubis were merged. This did not happen by some legend, but simply because both were similar. Both were guides of the dead. Hermanubis is, if anything, a rarity, spectators of myth. Both the Greeks and Romans scoffed at the idea of animal gods, often considering them as crude and unsophisticated. But not Hermanubis. Even the father of philosophy himself, Socrates, according to Plato, made oaths in reference to Anubis. Worship of Hermanubis is said to have lasted until under the Roman age, yet instances of him have been found in alchemy texts from the Middle Ages. <laughs> <laughs>